I really want to get your thoughts about uh, about people not being prepared because you you made a, you made a post which was a very very good post and it seems as though that a lot of people that comes in this industry, in particularly new people, they come unprepared. As many videos that I put out myself and as many posts that has been put out in the past, always, always, always come prepared. Always come with your own money. Always come with your, your credit card. Because if you don't have a credit card, you can get a credit card. You you can get a credit card these days. These days, now, yeah. you can get a credit card. It's it's not hard yeah. to get a credit card. Like, back then, back in 2015, 2012, back in the 90s, back in the 80s, yes, credit cards was kind of hard to come by. If you had a 400 credit score, nobody wouldn't touch you, right. but... But now, now, in the yeah, modern time, you you got that. Yeah. You got that. Yeah. So there's no reason for you not to come pre unprepared. But it seems as though. Yeah. It, it seems as though that people is just not getting it. Cindy, shout out to She Trucking. <laughs> Shout out to Sheree. I love Sheree. Sheree is the most yeah. underrated female truck driver out here. When when people talk about female truck drivers, shout out to the other female truck drivers that are that are popular on social media that got 50 million subscribers and 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 likes, right. views, and all like that. But Sheree, Sheree right here has been the most underrated female truck driver and I, I I'm I'm still going to continue uh to give her flowers and everything. So shout out to her and shout out to the she trucking. Yeah. So it's amazing what she's accomplished really. People don't even know the level of input how she's made things better for women in trucking. Let's get into it. Um unfortunately there was a female truck driver we 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 won't speak of her name because uh i i'm i'm still trying to get a hold of her i i tried to well i i did reach out to her uh shout out to Haiti, uh Heidi uh from Heart Solutions shout out to her for uh connecting us uh together i did reach out to her this morning and she haven't responded to the email. Did you know her? That that driver that got there was a driver that got stranded, right? So did yes. Heidi know her? Yes. He Hi okay. Yes. Heidi Heidi know her. Me and her had a background conversation. So yes, Heidi do her. Uh she do know okay. of her struggles. Um the from from the conversation between me and Heidi, uh she has been struggling as of as of late. So yes, Heidi do know her. So I I want to honestly say that this isn't a a ploy, as most of us in okay, the group good. thought I'm glad. at one point. I didn't have an opinion about it either way. I just, you know, honestly, because I don't know. You know, we always know what, what people put out there. So, I mean, I don't know. But I just, you know, I want to assume the best for people. But, you know, there are a lot of people that, you know, try to pull some scams. So, I, I think it's Gotta be careful because we, we don't really know, but it's good you got some verification from Heidi. So I I agree. <laughs> I agree because when when we seen the post, uh, it was a young lady that was uh, stranded in California. She needed help to get back to Georgia. Um, unfortunately, the company that she was driving for went belly up, and um, well, she she came into the group. And uh, kind of told her story and was looking for 
some assistance. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the people in the group, including myself, I wanted to reach out to her directly. Everybody uh, uh, shared the post, but there was some conversations in the group that was saying that she was posting in multiple groups. You know, that in it, that I'll tell you, as the admin for the group, let me just say about my thought process, why I ultimately took the post down, but uh, that in itself, I don't find peculiar, because I think, you know, if you need some help, and you can reach out to the truckers, and you're a trucker, you know, you're probably in a bunch, I'm in a bunch of groups, so that in itself, to me, was not, you know, alarming. The part that got to, was a little bit concerning for me, is that people had said that it had been months ago that they, that she had posted in the, other groups. So to me, the repetition of this post is what made me, you know, um, you know, have some concerns about the legitimacy of the post. So um, I, I think in itself, posting across a bunch of tracking groups, so that's what I would do if I was, you know, I mean, I, I'd do, I would be prepared. So I mean, I wouldn't, that wouldn't happen to me. But, you know, but I, if I needed some help, I would, you know, reach out and share it in multiple groups as well. But you know, but the fact that it had been repeated several months ago, that's where I started to go, you know, this is all still a little bit. Right, right. And I agree with you. So that's the part that was alarming for me. I, I will post in plenty of groups, too. I mean, I'm I'm a part of a lot of groups. And, yes, I post my episodes in uh, in all of those. So, yes, if there was a driver that needs help and I was able to get a hold of her to get a conversation in order to see her situation to hear her story of course i will share it across multiple groups so that's understandable sure but just the fact that they had been shared it somebody said it had been shared a couple months ago that's sounds like uh this is sounding a little bit shady so right right and you i know, and I, I understand your concern because we had some people that came in and and made claims that they was in dire straits and and a lot of people in the group had helped out only to come to find out that they was hoodwinked i know and it's terrible that that we have to worry about that but you know right as a matter of fact this this yeah, happened maybe social media. this hap this has happened maybe a couple of years ago where young lady claimed that she was in a situation and and come to find out a lot of us has helped out only to find out uh through various outlets that yeah she she wasn't even a truck driver it's terrible i have to think about those things but that's the nature of social media you know it's, it's just have to be careful so very very much so so again um hopefully everything is working out for this young lady uh heidi shout out to her once again she is uh, helping out, uh, helping out by way of getting her uh, application in with another, with another company, and hopefully that company could assist her into coming into their company by way of uh, flight, Uber, or whatever the yeah. case. And I heard she got somebody had said that she got bus fare out of there, and so that's why I was like, okay, well she's she's gotten the help that she needs, and um, there's some red flags here, so I'm like. I don't know if it's, you know, legit thing or not, but I'm like, I think it served its purpose. If she's got a, a bus ticket out of there, I think we wouldn't take that. And that's, I, I heard, the, I, I heard the same thing. I, I heard, um, give me a second. I, I heard that, uh, yes, she did get a, at least get a, a, a bus ticket out of, uh, out of her situation. So, if yeah, that's if good. it was if if it's fruition and if it's and if everything is on the up and up, we definitely here the group myself or Cindy, we wish her we wish her well. I I still want to hear the story because I would like to know the company uh, that she was with, and I I definitely like to know a little bit more um, about the company and probably what might have led up to him. Uh, deciding to close up shop. Yeah, it's a rough time in trucking. A lot of trucking companies are going under, so I think it's a good idea to be prepared. I, that was my commentary in the group. So it's like we we need to be prepared because we don't know, you know, we're out there on the road and 
going to be able to get ourselves back home if we, we get in a pinch. <laughs> Yes, very much so. And that's what I want to touch on. Uh, you did come back in the group. Uh, you shared your your commentary on being prepared. And I, I, I couldn't agree more with you on that sentiment. No matter how long you've been driving, no, if you're a new driver, old driver, we, we still need to be in a position that if anything happens we can at least get ourselves taken care of where we don't have to rely on others, rely on groups, rely on social media to get us out of that situation. I mean, I, I'm going to play devil's advocate. We're truck drivers. <laughs> we got, we got, when we get paid, maybe we get paid that big amount I consistent say take a little bit of that money out and put it in the savings for a rainy day. I know, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. It needs to be a regular discipline that we are we're setting money aside for stuff. Well, even think about this. You know, you're an OTR driver and you know, you got your whole setup and you know, when you live in the truck, you know, and you're you live at you're out three weeks at a time, I mean you, you get some stuff in your truck. I mean, it's not a little easy thing. You know, you got your tools and maybe you bought a fridge or a microwave or, you know, all your clothes and all your gear. You know, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not like you could just easily hop on a bus. You know, somebody was saying, you got to save U-Haul money. You know, you really do. And that's your life when you live in that truck. You know, you don't want to have to leave stuff behind. I hear the drivers will say that. You know, I had to, you know, they they left me high and dry and I had stuff on the truck, you know? Unfortunately, they was in a situation with a company that was located out of Iowa um, and they wasn't able, well, they was able to get home and everything, but they was in a point that that they had a whole bunch of stuff in their, in their truck, uh, TV, microwave, uh, refrigerator, all that good stuff. Me, I, I tend to tell people to tone it down. I'm, 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 I'm in a, yeah. my, my truck. I don't have a TV. I don't. I, I feel I don't need a TV. I got a, I got a 12 inch tablet that that serves yeah. the purpose. I microwave. I maybe there's some days that I wish I had one, but then. There's days that I don't need one. The refrigerator already in the truck. So only thing I bring is the essentials. Go bag, book bag, and my hygiene yeah. bag. That's it. That's it. Well, that's all. you know, and people if they wanna they wanna load out their trust, you know, that's all fine. I, I don't have any problem with that. And I, I you know, I do you know, you do you. But just be prepared, you know, like if something happens, you know, that's just more stuff you're gonna have to figure out how to get back and it's okay to have that you know i would want to be comfortable out in the road you know i like to have my stuff but you know you just it's just more more preparation you need to have in case something changes and you need to you know now you got to rent a little you know truck to get your stuff home that's fine i mean just be prepared so if, if you make that choice that's a good choice you know you know you do you you know be prepared live the life that you want to live out there because it, it's hard we want to be have things around us that make us comfortable but it just be prepared for in case you need to, you know, you get put out of the truck because it, it happens and it's happening a lot lately. The industry is is really going through a turmoil right now. Like 2023 has been, it's been real, well, up, but been real bad for the industry. We, we had top-notch companies shutting down. Uh, we got mom and pop companies scamming a lot. We got we got companies that's not even bringing in new drivers no more because they they yep, full right. they, they they full to capacity. Yep. People coming out of trucking school now and they is having a hard time finding a, a, a starter company to get with because they already got like maybe tens of thou tens of hundreds of drivers waiting on uh trainers and then they're short on trainers in particularly female trainers 
So sure. yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of CDL drivers that got their CDLs this year, and they they still finding it hard to uh, to to get that that starter company. Let's talk about three reasons why you're having a hard time finding a truck driving job. The first reason is your experience. A lot of companies are wanting drivers with quite a bit of experience, anywhere from six months to 12 months. Some are taking drivers with three months, but they want experience. Now, the next reason could be your job history. Trucking companies are looking for drivers that do not hop around. They want an average of anywhere from four to eight months at a trucking company job. Now, the last reason could be that companies are full. A lot of trucking companies aren't hiring. They have more applications than they have trucks to fill. If you found this information helpful, make sure you follow our page or subscribe to our YouTube for more informational content. You know, and it's not being negative what you're sharing. I, I see some pushback when I make comments like that on, on social media outlets. And, you know, people say, that's not true. You know, people, there's still companies out there that will hire. Yes, there are some out there that will hire. But when, when a, a large trucking company is shut down, all those experienced CDL holders are now pushed into the market and are now looking for jobs. So why would a company hire a brand new driver with zero experience when they have uh, an experienced CDL holder that's looking for work? So you're just not going to, no holder is going to have a challenge, you know, trying to make that make sense for a company you know new city holders the insurance is going to be higher you know so why would they pay higher insurance for a brand new cdl holder when they have an experienced veteran with a proven track record you know they've got safety miles and you know their record is clean you know so they're always going to choose that experience when they when they can and you know so just unfortunate time right now so not that it's impossible to get a job but they're still still jobs out there, but it is challenging. And I think we need to be realistic with people, you know, and, and trucking is difficult. You know, they go through these ups and downs. It's a very normal part of trucking, and we're definitely on that downside right now. Very good point. Good point. I mean, I, I made that as a point when yellow went under, and we got – we yep, we got exactly. yellow we got yellow drivers that been driving for yellow for 20 30 40 plus years and you guys might be a little bit lucky that they might not be settling for less but yeah if push comes to shove they're going to be they're going to make themselves available and of course big trucking companies mom and pop trucking companies that's looking for experience they're going to go with them first yeah always yeah. they're going to it's hard to compete with that exactly exactly they can they can hire on cheap you know a new cdl driver is not going to make what an experienced driver but the market's going to dictate what the pay is you know when there's so many drivers available you know, there's definitely no driver shortage right now so when there's drivers available you know, that rates are going to go down, both same for the freight and same for the salaries. You know, that's just, that's what it's like living in a free market. That's what happens. Well, Cindy, I do appreciate you coming on, chop, uh, chopping it up with me right quick, man, because people, uh, in a sense, do need to be prepared for whatever reason, whether they're a seasoned vet or they're a new driver that's just now getting in. And, and unfortunately, that company uh, goes belly up or you are uh, are in a situation that you are forced to leave or anything of that matter man we we just we all need to be prepared and cindy thank you very much for for making that post thank you very much for coming on and uh chopping it up with the lockout man yeah thanks for having me i appreciate you thanks for all you do big cheese got it locked boy Won't you let me all night?